Right, this is the second time I've had to do this. First time. And my phone lost connection with my laptop. So, what I was showing was how to wax paper without. Let me just see if I can adjust this light. without using an iron. This is a bit I've just done on the video. I don't know how to, where's the camera? There it is. The lighting's really not that good in here. So, I will show you again. As I said before, I work on a glass surface. Um, it seems a lot easier than working on a non-stick surface, surface for some reason. I use card to scrape and a blade which has just disappeared under my bleeding. first oh yes that's not beeswax this is Yankee candle tart it's gonna add a bit more in because it's gone down and before recording this I only just noticed it actually says if you can see not to put it in one of them but that's how I've been doing it and you yank candles you light. So I don't know. It's been working. It's not set on fire yet. Not yet. Right, so what I'm gonna do is just using a brush, I'm gonna coat this image. I've just gotta let the brush warm a little bit because it's just set after The failed attempt in the first video. I'm just going to start brushing it on. Putting quite a bit on. This way it's going to get a bit noisier, I'm afraid. I'm going to work in two halves, I'm going to do this bottom half first, and then the top half. So. And what this is actually doing, this is embedding the wax into the paper now. and I've got the blade is to 
scrape all that wax off there. Alright, let me move up a little bit. There we go. Another way. So now what I'm gonna do is seal it even more. Get another blast on this side and then on that side because you can see and that, yeah these bits here where the wax has not gone in so another little go bits where there's not enough wax so I'm just gonna that's there that's gathered up you just go back in there I think it's got some income back there and it's hard to show you because I've got a light oh no yeah yeah the light is going to work I don't know if you actually have an image hand through it. Should have had a lot. Hold on a minute. Let's see if this will do it. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit too much anyway. Not that one. I've got that one and that one. good on your vintage dictionary pages um, this is oh, what's it called tracing paper I'm printed onto tracing paper and then put the wax on that this camera right look at the camera and this one which is quite large see that right yeah yeah and a few, some bits that I use I've used the wax paper on oh camera now these flowers later this pocket that's wax paper on this side that little girl is waxed and the flowers are too uh, this one oh I've got to do this in a day 
lights on, the lights better. It's waxed. That's waxed. That's waxed. And it's all stitched together on the machine. Just the flowers on this side's waxed. Is if you're going to make flowers, you take first, it's going to look like I just did with the last one, and then die cut them. And you haven't got to mess about with your flowers, trying to get them to roll up or anything. They just, they just automatically do it when this is crinkled. Oh, there you go. Um that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope I've explained it properly. A bit crap of it crap of explaining things. Yeah. Thank you very much. Goodbye.